today I would like us to talk about famine. Um, I'm not a Today, I would like us to talk about famine. Um, I'm not an agronomist. <laughs> I didn't uh, study agriculture. But uh, at the cost of doing businesses, I am um, fortunate to dive into farming for a very long time. And I grew up seeing my dad um, being a farmer and some other people around me do one or two farming. So, Every single time we sit down and we talk about the hunger and the expenses of um, farm products right now in the market and um, a basket of tomato as at yesterday is 150,000 naira in Nigeria. I keep thinking to myself, why is it that for a very long time the young people of this country have, um, most of them really haven't really picked interest in farming because I know the importance of farming and I know the fulfillment that comes with planting something and watering it and coming back to weed it, coming back to look at it. The first opening of the soil for it to come out is unbelievably um, satisfying and I'm just here to advise a lot of us to really look into that profession. I know it's expensive to be a farmer right now in Nigeria because some, sometimes you don't even have the money to buy the land, you don't have the money to buy fertilizer, buy the right chemicals and what have you in um, this present day. But there's a beauty of farming right now, an organic type of farming, mechanized type of farming, that in your backyard, you don't even need the ground right now to, to plant. So you can plant in a bucket, you can plant in the in, in the tire and you can get tomato you can get lettuce you can get potato you can get a lot of things and it's here on at your beck and call in at your tips you can just google um how to do a diy type of farming if at least even if it is 10 percent of our population would look into farming they will realize that uh agriculture is not only does not only give its country riches, but it's the only type of riches that that country can call her own. I feel there's so many things we can do for um, ourselves to not go hungry and equally sell to the market. You can be a millionaire or a billionaire as a farmer if you do it right. And there's a way that you bring in the right people for the type of farming that we do we are the financiers, we have the land, we have the idea, we, I go out of my way to study so many things to see that I can be able to know exactly what an agronomist is telling me when they're explaining stuff. But I still go out of my way to hire the right people to do the right things for me. So this video is to um, encourage the young people to look into farming. A farmer can be a magician, I assure you, who <laughs> produces money from mud. There is money in farming and there's equally fulfillment because sometimes you farm not for even selling. You farm to help people. The kind of farming my husband does is he, he does a lot of rice, he does a lot of grains, he does a lot of um, ginger, he does a lot of um, sweet potatoes. And at the end of the day, these things go to his constituency. Anytime there's salad, there's Christmas, there's anything, they just go into the farm and they pick some of these products and they give people. So if someone can do something like that, I think every other person that has like a million or two can actually start something. And the beauty of farming, you don't have to start it on a large scale. And equally the beauty now is 
but we're so grateful to technology. With one greenhouse, you can be able to harvest like two, three times in a year, and you can do, you can get a lot of um, good things coming out from that if you do it right. So study farming and uh, get the right people to help you do it. Farming is actually a profession of hope. You have to have the hope. You have to believe in your ability to wait because it takes is a process. It takes time. But uh, if you do it right, I assure you there is a fulfillment that comes with it. Agriculture is, uh, I would say, one of the healthiest and most useful and equally one of the most noble employment of man. You can employ people, you can help um, reduce the hunger, you can help um, feed yourself as well. And uh, so many other things can come out of family. So let's look into that and see how we can navigate from us being the buyers to us being the suppliers. That my madam waiting they call uh, Madame Fausat. <laughs> Restless, tireless, always running from pillar to post, half of the time not for her own, but for others. She's just the best. Mm. Subscribe to the FalsartSani-Yusuf.com channel on YouTube via www.FalsartSani-Yusuf.com slash YouTube. Follow her on Facebook via www.FalsartSani-Yusuf.com slash Facebook.